Well, who doesn't like castles, right? Did you know that the United States has castles? I actually didn't know this, but Hannah probably knew. <laughs> Welcome back, Hannah. Thanks, Brandon. I don't know if I knew about United States castles, but I do think castles are very cool. Yeah, and the castles that we highlight in our article, they're ones that you can stay at, at least most of them. And so that's pretty fascinating. You can go visit a castle, feels historical. But there are other parts of the world that have castles that were built many, many years ago, right? I went a couple years ago to visit uh, London, and I visited Windsor Castle. And so that was pretty fascinating to see the history there. How about you, Hannah? Have you ever visited a castle? I've never visited a castle before. I would love to go. I have been to a kind of unique or historical place. It's, mm -hmm. it's not, well, maybe not historical, but it is just an interesting place. It's called Casey, Illinois, oh. and it's known for having the world's most, world's biggest things. Oh. So like the world's biggest rocking chair, the world's biggest oh. golf tee, the world's biggest wind chimes. It was just a little town off the interstate, but I had fun just taking pictures and exploring a place that was really unique. That sounds incredible, right? And take, you can take lots of good photos there as well. Yeah. All right, so maybe you haven't been to a castle, but you've been to some other historical site, and that, those are interesting as well. Have you been to an historical site that you would recommend, Hannah? Yeah, you know, when I was younger, I went kind of through the northeast of the United States, and there's a lot of old battlefields there mm. from the Revolutionary War or the Civil War. Um, the one I went to was in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. So Very it was, famous. Yeah, so maybe you've heard of it. It's where the Civil War, a famous battle, was fought. It's such a cool place because it's an interactive history site. So you can actually walk around and see, oh my gosh, that building, there's still a hole in it where a yeah. cannonball blasted <laughs> through. Or you can see museums or monuments. Mm -hmm. There's a place where President Abraham Lincoln gave a famous speech, the Gettysburg Address. So I love walking around there and seeing all of that history come alive. I love history, and I've been to those uh, historical sites as well. Not that one, but I've been to one in Tennessee. It's called Shiloh, and the, the park is, and you can learn about the Civil War as well. All those sorts of things are interesting. And I've been in... Uh, it's Tainan, the southern part of the island here, and there's so much fun to see the history and the forts and that sort of thing, and so I love that kind of thing. Maybe you do as well. Maybe there's some historical sites that you want to visit. This article sort of inspires us to go back in time and maybe do some research or at least go to a site and learn more about the history of that particular site. Check out our article. Maybe you'll have the opportunity one day to visit one of these castles. We hope you do. And we hope that you will join us next time here on Insights. Thank you, Hannah, for joining us. We'll see you all next time.